Hey, what's up? How's it going? So recently, we've had an infestation of worms in my apartment, but not like normal worms that just crawl across the floor, maybe, you know, sneak in from outside. The worms we have right now are ceiling worms. I'm not really sure where they came from. When I googled them, they were apparently like baby moths or moth fetuses. Whatever a caterpillar is before it turns into a butterfly, these are to moths. Um, so I'm assuming the way it works with the birds and the bees and everything, you know, someone, probably myself, let in a pregnant moth into our apartment and it gave birth to baby moths all over our fucking kitchen ceiling. But we now have this infestation in our kitchen of about 15 to 20 ceiling worms. I didn't even notice them at first. It was like midnight and my roommate looked up at the ceiling right before we were to go to bed and was like, hi, do you know why we have 10 to 15 worms on our ceiling? And I was like, what the actual fuck are you talking about? We obviously don't have worms on our ceiling. And then I looked up, and sure enough, there were 10 to 15 worms just chilling on our ceiling. Not exactly what you want to find at midnight, you know? Ever. Literally ever. But this midnight, instead of going to bed peacefully, I spent like 30 minutes searching our apartment for more worms. Turns out these particular dudes just like to hang out in the kitchen. Only one single worm had ventured outside of the kitchen and that was into my roommate's room and that poor boy got squished real quick. He was very gross and we almost vomited from squishing him, but he did get squished. Anyway, they don't even move fast. They barely move at all. We weren't even sure if they were alive or if they just somehow died on our ceiling and were stuck there forever till we clean them up. But Turns out they're alive, they're just crawling across our ceiling. They appear to not be a threat, but they're still disgusting. And like, I keep imagining like one crawling into my room, falling down from the ceiling and landing on me while I sleep, which is kind of my worst nightmare. So I think I'm gonna investigate them a little bit further right now and kind of see if I can determine if they're actually moss and what they mean to do to us. Because while my initial ceiling worm Google search told me these were probably moths, I was talking to one of my friends and she was saying that they might not be moths or like baby moth or moth fetuses. They might be like centipedes or millipedes or something just crawling across the ceiling. So I think I'm going to go grab a friend from the ceiling because they're still there like a week later, see what it looks like and um, if I can somehow figure out what it is what its plan is to do and maybe do a little science experiment to see if it's gonna cocoon itself and turn into a moth or if it's a centipede that's out to destroy my life. You're out to destroy my life too, aren't you? Anyway, so right now I think I'm gonna go grab a worm and see what I can determine from it. I'm not really a science person but I think with a closer inspection, I might be able to deem some form of information from it. Hopefully, maybe. Oh my god, it landed on my phone. Nope. Mm-mm. Alright, so I'm back. I have acquired a small little worm dude. Um, I'm not sure if he's dead or if he's just in shock or whatever because he has not moved much since I touched him. He's not crushed or anything. He's just frozen. Oh, maybe he curled up even more. No, I think he's the same. He might be dead. I'm thinking he's dead. Either way, we'll investigate him a little more. Maybe guess do a post-death investigation because this boy doesn't look like he's gonna make it but we'll see let's just let's just check him out and see what we're dealing with so I'm gonna pop on my computer what should I search maybe um maybe I'll search green yellow ceiling or 
Ooh, ooh. Okay. I got it. I got it. I found a picture of exactly what I'm looking at. Yes. Ooh, what is this? Indian meal moth larva. The reason they are crawling around my kitchen is that they are fully grown and looking for protected places to poopate, pupate, poopate, so they can turn into adult moths. So they leave the kitchen food apparently when they're ready to turn into adult moths and then like cocoon themselves and turn into an actual moth. This glass is technically a really safe place for this moth dude to cocoon himself. So I think I'm just going to leave him in here a couple days and see if I end up with a live moth. The issue is apparently finding out where they came from, which I am going to be useless at. We had food that smelled rotten in our fridge for like four days and it took us a bazillion years to figure it out. We finally did. It was chicken that wasn't really even that expired. It just smelled like ass. So yeah, we have a lot of food that could definitely be the source of the moths. We also have a back porch that I sometimes leave the door open to so pregnant mothers can fly into our apartment and birth their larva babies in our cereal and then their babies crawl onto our ceiling and create this horrifying experience. I'm also going to try and look up like what this does to me because moths I know they eat their clothing but um Are they harmful? <gasps> they look disgusting. Oh, maybe he has cocooned himself and I just stole his cocoon from our kitchen ceiling. So apparently this kind of moth doesn't actually eat your clothing from this one single article I've looked at. Pest control expert over here. Okay, they can kind of ruin your food. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, basically, they'll ruin your food. So, at some point, we should probably take care of the 15 fucking moths on our ceiling. But, overall, they're not going to eat my clothing. And the food that's already open is probably already bad. By moth, not by anything else. So, I've probably already eaten moth poop and just haven't noticed which i'm not sure if that's good or bad like if i noticed moth poop in my food that would be gross but also if i ate moth poop that would be gross i really don't think there's a good ending to that but i probably already have eaten it since we have full like adult larva Whew. gross right So, there we have it. We've got Indian meal moths in our kitchen. Our food's probably infested. They've probably shit in a lot of our open containers. And they're gonna multiply. So at some point, we should probably call someone about this. But, uh, yeah. I don't really know if there's a point to this video. I'll update you guys if my small boy gets out of his cocoon. He's now full of dust, too, because his cup's just been gathering dust since I got it. But... Yeah, I guess I'll update you if Moth Boy turns into a full-grown moth, or if I ever fix this issue. Maybe we'll just have moth friends living in. We stole their environment, they might as well steal our house back. This was a fun science time, science experiment, not even experiment, science investigation or whatever, and uh, yeah, hope you don't have moths living in your apartment. This dude just looks like a dust ball. It's like rolled around the jar enough, it had like dust coating, which I guess was its cocoon, and then it rolled around the jar enough where it's just picked up all the dust on the bottom of this jar, so it's kind of just like a little dust bunny in a cup. Soon it'll be a dusty moth in a cup. Anyway, thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Hope you enjoyed watching me figure out my household pests. 
dog included. Oh, look at that doggo. Anyway, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you did not, and subscribe if you want to. Can you not? Thank you. Anyway, hope y'all have a wonderful week or month or however long it is before I make my next video, and bye! I just realized I left the moth thing, like fetus moth larva, in my room. And I'm at the airport going on vacation for 10 days. So I think I just left basically a caterpillar to turn into a moth in my room.